or a and then we got A flat bass and we got these two notes whichever way you want to pick it you know okay I mean you could just do it that way if you wanted several ways of doing it that is is this in this tuning so that note and that note is the same as that and that note right so that's a flat major seven and then it goes to nah, now opinions vary on this i prefer an a flat bass on an f7 here so we've just done the a flat so logically come up half a tone and then put the seventh on here so i'm just going across the strings play the melody on the top okay and then we got roses so that was and wonderful and then we got roses well you can do it straight like that or you can change the bass a little bit to make it interesting and have the bass going up while the melody is going down so like that so right and then we're going to go to C with an E bass. Now that's convenient because there's a nice little thing we can do. We can do the open D string and then come up to the E like this. Right? And there's our E for our, um, our C chord. But the actual C, it goes... That's the melody. So... you so that's flat flat nine nine flat nine when you play that the second time put the seventh on for the harmony because that works nicely then into the F minor seven okay so I'll do that again F7 with an F bass, so so that's Meadows there. All I did was I played the bass, the F with the third string open. I played the seventh, and then just went up again across the strings, back to the second string. Okay, so it sounds like that. Okay, and then we want a B flat, uh, which is up here. Now that's an ordinary B flat. Well, I mean, obviously there's one there as well. Okay, but I need. I'll show you why I'm up here. Now, no third. Don't put that third on yet, because I want that. I want that note for the next little bit. So, and then move the bar up. So let this B flat then to start with, bar across the lot on the fifth fret, little finger on the eighth, hit that note on the third string, move the bar, the whole bar up, and then put this on the third string. Okay, hope you can see that. All right, and then. Now we can, just to make it a little bit more interesting, go up to the top four strings rather than playing everything all down the bottom. It gets a bit bassy. So, so we start here on the C note. And play an E flat. Those two and those two. So hope you see that. Those two and those two. Okay. Do it again. Now you can either do that or you can just do it like that if you want. And then play... Which is some sort of C with a sharp whatever or flat whatever. It's quite a nice sound, I don't know what it is actually. Right. And then go to an F minor. Now that's an F minor shape. That's an F shape. There's your F minor. Right? We put the actual we put the fourth on. Come all the way up to the thirteen. To the ten. Okay. Put a bar across the four there on the eighth fret. 
play the top two strings. Right. See, it's really an A flat minor. Remember that was an F minor. So therefore G A flat minor. So we don't need that third, so take it off. Okay, and then conveniently we have this note. Right? No, I never heard them at all. Bar across to get the C the uh, E flat sus. Then an ordinary E flat shape. Now then, to do what we did down the bottom before, you remember. G minor, F sharp minor, F minor 7. We can do that up here just on these three strings. See that shape? And we just slide that down. Right? Now, <clears throat> we could just do the... Which is incredibly boring, of course. But it's quite nice if we put um, a B bass on here. And then go to the minor, the C minor. Of course you can play C minor all the way down there if you want. It doesn't have to be up there, it's just it was convenient. You know, I didn't have to move around much to die from... And then we want an e, a nice big fat E flat 7. I mean, there's all sorts of. But that's, prob that's probably the richest one we've got available because we're doubling up on, on the 7. And then remember, no, I never heard them at all. This is that uh, D flat nine, but we're just using this part of it. And then the E flat sus two, two. E flat, G, ma G minor, F, F sharp. Okay, and then to finish till there was you. Now, if that's a B flat, let's concentrate on these three notes, the inside notes, not the top note. Move it up, put a bar across for the C minor. Sorry, that's B flat. C minor. And now put the top one on. So that's how we get the melody. Right? And then we finish on. And then we could go to A minor. Uh, sorry, A flat minor. Okay, we could also finish on a, an E flat six. Got a beatly sort of chord. The Beatles ending is this one. You know we were playing B flat like that. Well, if we extend it across and play it like that, play it. But we don't need a top string at all. So we just got those two notes and those two behind. Now take that off, and we get the major seven. And then go back to that chord that we had at the beginning, the B flat 7 9. Okay. And then play the melody on the top string. Okay. You could do a, something on the top three strings, this kind of thing, with the A minor and, and the E flat, A flat minor and the E flat. And put a bar on and put across the two to get a nine sh nine sound. Could end like that. For beginnings, we can do uh, this is quite a useful little beginning. Use the E flat shape like that. Come down to D flat minor, but keep the second string open. Nice dissonance. Right. And then resolve that to C. then F minor and then our uh, B flat 7 9 